Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the new URL alias feature inside Jet Smart Filters. I'm going to show you how to take a URL like this and turn it into a more user friendly URL like this. So now let's just jump into the back end and show you how to set everything up. So the first thing we need to do is head on over into the settings for Jet Smart Filters. So if you click right here where it says settings underneath Jet Smart Filters, you're going to see this new uh, panel right here. Next, you're going to want to click on URL structure settings. And the one setting we need to make sure we have enabled is this first one underneath URL structure type. Make sure it's selected as a permalink and not plain. Um, I believe by default, it's always selected uh, by plain, but you're going to want to make sure it's at permalink. So after you have that set up, uh, what I recommend is keeping this tab open because we're going to be switching back and forth between this settings right here where it says URL aliases and our page. Now I'm just going to show you how I have this simple demo page set up. Uh, this right here is just using the default uh, Elementor widget for post. And as you can see, there's nothing, nothing crazy here. I just have it where the queries are just pulling in all the post. And up here is where I have the Jet Smart Filters select filter. The very first thing we're going to need to do is underneath apply type, you're going to want to make sure that you have it either at page reload or mixed. I like mixed and then apply on value change. So this means when a user selects something inside the filter, once they click that, it's going to change the URL structure up here. So you can visually see how everything works. And that's what we're going to be manipulating is how that's going to look. So now I'm going to jump into the front end and show you how uh, this looks currently. Here we are on the front end of that page. And let me highlight right here, the current URL structure. So this right here is just a demo website called wikidemo.com. And I have this installed in a directory called testing. So if you don't have it in a directory, it would just be like domain.com slash. And then this right here is our page name. I just call this a URL alias. So now let me show you what happens when a user selects one of these uh, categories. And as you can see, this becomes a little bit messy. And what we're going to be changing in this tutorial is how we can just change this right here into something like slash filter. In order to do that, we just need to jump back into our URL structure settings for Jet Smart Filters. Click this button, use URL aliases. And now we can copy that in here. You're going to want to make sure it looks just like this, where it starts with a slash and ends with a slash. And over here is what we're going to be replacing it with. So we're just going to type in the word filter and that's it. So now you can click that and you can see up here, it will say your settings have been saved. So now let's jump into the front end and show you how everything is going to work. So now I'm going to go up here and clear this. So it's a brand new page. So if I hit update, you can see right here, we're just at the page level right here called URL alias. And now let me change this and you're going to see right here. Now it says slash filter and then the category name. So let me do another one so you can see slash filter category name. So now you can see how powerful this new URL alias tool can be for your jet smart filters. Now, if we jump back into these settings, I'm going to show you how you can use this down here to also test it. Uh, but I also recommend always going to the front end, doing a few tests, just like we just did. So if you click this pencil icon right here, you can replace um, this right here with what we have right up here. So if you go up here, hit copy and just replace this right here with what we have. And you're going to want to make sure that you click this checkbox right here. And what it's going to do is make sure that it's a direct match. So you can see right here, this is where it's going to be pointing to. And then this is what it was. So what I recommend is just doing a test back here and then I've always do it in the front end, just like I said. Now this right here is more of a global um, option, but if you need to tie it to a specific page, we can do that down here. So as you can see right here, we have it at just page instead of our real page. So what we can do is just go up here and copy your page name. So in this case, it's just called URL alias and just add that right up here. Make sure you don't have double slashes and same thing right here. You're going to want to make sure that this is a slash filter. So now what this is, is this is just targeting that specific page. So if the URL structure meets this match it up to be that. So just like I showed you, what we can do is go down here and do a test as well. So you can click the pencil icon and instead of where it says slash page, we can highlight all of that and replace it with here. 
And now we can check it to make sure that this is going to work. So it shows right here that everything should work properly. And now let's go to the front end of that page. Just kind of make sure everything is good. So if we select this, everything matches up. We don't have any issues right here. And another cool thing is you're not limited to just one URL alias. You can also add multiple right here. So if you have multiple pages that need, you know, these redirects, you can always do that right here. And that's it for today's tutorial on how to use the URL alias inside JetSmart filters. Thank you for watching.